Jamie Fortner, Jeremy Ware, and Chris L. Rucker in the secondary for the Spartans. Let's see if this defense can regroup right now. That man again, young Tate Forcier at quarterback for Michigan. Play fakes on a handoff. He'll run himself. He's to the 20. Knocked down hard there by Marcus Hyde. Nice open field tackle by Marcus Hyde. Second and five for Michigan at the 20-yard line of MSU. The first series of overtime. Michigan scored with two seconds left on a throw from Tate Forcier to Roy Roundtree to force OT. Second down and five for Michigan at the Spartan 20. Forcier has minor to his right. He'll roll right and throw that way. It is caught by Odoms. Odoms has a first down inside the 15 at the 13-yard line on the far right sideline. Knocked out of bounds by Brandon Denson. Well, you get more for your money if you came to see this one today. We're in overtime in East Lansing. First and 10, Michigan just outside the Spartan 13. 4CA with Miner to his right. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff. Keeps it himself. Fights his way inside the 10 down to the 9. Second and 5, Michigan at the Spartan 9. Greg Jones on the tackle. Nobody has left this stadium, that's for sure. Second down. Five for Michigan at the nine. For CA this time hands the ball to Miner. Miner up the middle. Stopped at about the seven. Third down and four and a half. Trevor Anderson on the tackle for MSU. The ball's at the eight-yard line. Big third down call for Michigan. Would they go for it on fourth down and overtime? For CA, looks to the sideline for the call. Here comes the blitz. Third down, four and a half. For CA under pressure, flush to his right, throws back over the middle. Knocked Picked away off. by Danny Fortner and intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone. Chris L. Rucker with the interception. The ball was tipped by Danny Fortner. Danny Fortner making a play, Jim Miller. Oh, always in the right place. You said it earlier in the game. Danny Fortner's lost some starting has some starting playing time, but now getting thrown back in the mix. Couldn't be a bigger time to show up and make that play. Martavius Odoms was just working the back end line of the, of the end zone. Danny Fortner steps in front of him, knocks it to his teammate, Chris L. Rucker. That's a heck of a play by Danny Fortner. That's showing up big in a big spot. Keith Nickel is the quarterback in overtime. Cunningham and Blair White set to the right. Along with Brian Linthicum. Charlie Gant, tight left, one set back, it's Winston. Toss sweep to Winston. Fumbles the ball. Picks it up and falls for a loss back to the 34-yard line. A nine-yard loss. Just got to squeeze the ball. You go back to base. It looks like Glenn Winston was already looking to turn the corner. First things first, look the ball in and, and tuck it away. A field goal wins it. All you have to do is set up for mid-range field goal here. That's the goal. Second down, 19. Ball at the Michigan 34. Straight eye with Hawken and Caper now behind Nickel. Nickel play fakes. Has time, throws left side. Nice grab. Fingertip catch inside the 25. Out of bounds on the near left sideline. B.J. Cunningham. J.T. Floyd ran him out at the 23, so it'll come up third and eight. That's a good job by Keith Nickel, knowing he has to put a little bit more steam on that football. It's a play-action pass, and you have the bow route on the outside, but knowing the receiver's getting close to the sideline, had to put a little bit more heat on that throw. Third and eight at the 23. Ball at the left hash mark. Hawking in front of Caper. Hand off to Larry Caper. 
Cuts inside. He's at the 20. Caper on his feet at the 15. He's gone. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. Spartans win. The Spartans win in overtime. Larry Caper mobbed by his teammates. That's a heck of a run, Jim Miller, I'll tell into you, the history book. That's that slant 38 boss I talked about, had the lead blocker, and Larry Caper, he had two fumble rooskies earlier in the game. He redeems himself by just keeping a leg churning, keeping his legs going. He's churning, defenders just bouncing off him. Again, I think this team just wanted it, George. Three weeks of pent-up frustration. They did play with their hair on fire today. They made it close, but you could tell they were not going to be denied. And the freshman, Larry Caper, put the exclamation point on it. They played so hard and so well for so long, it would have been wrong to not win this game. And the Spartans head for the student section. Everybody in white. On their feet. To serenade the winning Spartans. They have beaten Michigan here in overtime in East Lansing. Let's go to Jason Strayhorn with a victorious Danny Enos. Well, Coach, it couldn't be any more exciting than that with the finish. Total domination on the defense side of the ball, keeping them to negative 21 rushing. You know, this is the first time that Michigan State's beaten Michigan two it's in a 1967. row. 1967. Yeah, that's right. How do you feel? 667. I can't even explain it to you. Great run, great perseverance by our whole team. Coach Antonio, great job with the message all week. Our players believed, and they just kept punching. Michigan did a great job coming back. Great job. We knew they would try. You know, they knew we knew we'd have it in them. But unbelievable. One of the greatest wins I've ever been a part of. Unbelievable. It is the greatest, one of the greatest wins I've ever seen here, Coach. Now, I know this speaks volumes. We've got a lot of recruits here. You've been real involved in recruiting in the state. Now, what does this say about the future of the program here in Michigan State? Well, I know a lot of people have been beating up our recruits on the phone, telling them we're down, and I, hey, we're not down. You know, we got a young football team. We got a, we got some good young players, and we got some older guys giving uh, direction. We're going to get better and better every week. All right, coach. Well, congratulations. Go enjoy with the team. All right, back to you guys. Fired up, Danny Enos, and a fired up Jason Strayhorn, Jim Miller. I'm fired up too. Well, I'm fired. I'm excited for this team. These coaches work too hard. These players work too hard to lose the way they've been losing. And today just kind of validates what this team is capable of. I truly thought this was an excellent team coming into the season. They haven't played up to snuff. Well, today they did. Now, if they can bottle this up, put it together, they got a whole Big Ten season to focus on, and maybe they can turn this season around. Good start today, though. The Spartans sang the fight song in the student corner, the South east corner of the end zone and now they're walking all the way around the field to celebrate with their fans here at Spartan Stadium they got that Paul Bunyan trophy that's a they keep it in the trophy case the Paul Bunyan trophy remains in East Lansing and you know when the Spartans last won two in a row over Michigan it was 1967, and that was at the tail end of total domination in this series throughout the 50s with Biggie Munn and Duffy Doherty and in through the 60s and running off the field with that Paul Bunyan trophy is Andrew Hawkins as the crowd chants, go green, go white. It's the Spartans in overtime, 26-20. to 20.